Hey guys, okay, so a video tons of you have been requesting is a tutorial on how to do mashups while DJing. So that's playing vocals from one song over another song, dropping in a drop from one song instead of the drop from the song that's playing and just mashing up songs while you're DJing. The next video I do is going to be a tutorial on that. But I thought before I did, I wanted to show you guys where you can go to get acapellas. So for those of you who don't know what that means, an acapella is the vocals without the music underneath it. If you want to do DJ mashups, you're gonna have to find a way to get the acapellas of songs to play over the tops of other songs that are playing. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you the best places to go to get those acapellas. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay guys, so a quick introduction to this. Finding acapellas is not an easy job to do. You can't buy acapellas by themselves. So this usually requires a lot of searching around to try and find the acapella that you want and just finding one that's good enough. I gotta tell you that straight away. Here is how I go about finding acapellas. There's a few different places you can go to. The first, kick my camera. The first one you can try is just YouTube. So for example, I know you could go to YouTube and type in and you can find quite a few songs on there where the artists have just uploaded the acapella. For example. Why wait to say, at least I did it my way. So you can find one or two on YouTube, but there's not many. So same thing, exactly the same thing applies to SoundCloud. You can come here and put in, you know, rap, acapella. You know, you can find a couple of different acapellas like this one. Hands up! Put your fucking hands up! Put your fucking hands up! So you got a couple of things like that on there. You can find acapellas. And all I'm saying is YouTube is a good place to start. SoundCloud is a good place to start. So then we come on to a site that's renowned for being very good for finding acapellas. It's called Acapellas For You. You have to get a register, you have to register to the site to use it. Once you're on, you can do a search. So you can, for example, come here and say, Backstreet Boys Acapella. Search, you don't even have to write the word acapella, you could just write Backstreet Boys, because this uh, whole site is for acapellas, okay. Search. Then you get a ton of different acapellas here, ratings, you can click on one. The site is incredibly slow for some reason. Okay, once you've clicked on one, you will then have this kind of screen here. You only get five downloads a month, I think it's five or ten a month. Uh, you have to wait 36 seconds before you download it, but once it's done, you can click that button there, it'll download it, and then, lo and behold, you will have the acapella. My fire. The one. Anyway, I can't even play that much of it because YouTube will take the video down. But that is a really good website. That is probably the first place you should go actually before trying YouTube and SoundCloud. That's a good one. The fourth place, the other thing you can do, because remember guys, it's just, you're just doing a lot of searching to find acapellas. It's not an easy job. You can just Google it. So whatever you want, you can type in blah, 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 acapella, just Google it and see what comes up. That sometimes works as well. Now, those are the four ways I would essentially search for an, a ready-made acapella of a famous song that already exists. The other thing you can do if you want, want a song that's already exists that's out there is you can, I've got this example to show you, you can get a song that's quite a stripped back song, like this one. The club is the best place to... Okay, it's quite a simple basic song, it doesn't have much going on in the background. You can actually EQ out some of the instruments and then play it on top of another song, so you can kind of do this. The club is the best place to find a... Let me just, let me just bring this back a bit. The club is the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. It doesn't really work, but I have done that in the past. You can just kind of EQ out everything and leave just a bit of the basics, basic vocals. So it would go from this to that. That 
that's another option for you. I wouldn't go for that if you were going to be DJing, but maybe if you were doing like a bit of a mashup and you were actually doing it on a program like this, you could probably get away with it. I know I did a remix of this song and that's how I got the acapella. Once you've got all the other instruments playing, you can't really tell. Not the best way to do it, but I did want to throw that in there because that is another option if you want to get basic acapellas from a song that's quite stripped back anyway. Okay. So then I wanted to show you uh, two other ways you could do it, actually three other ways you could do it. So there are other places you can go just to get random acapellas, which you can just put in over songs. Like you can go to this place called Loop Masters, you can just search for acapellas and there's just things you can play like this. Things I have of you, I keep on living in it. They're not famous songs, they're just a cappella, so you can go there and get some random a cappellas if you wanted to put them over beats. Um, same, th same thing with Beatport, you can come here, search for a cappellas, and you can get things like. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, they're not famous vocals, they're just a cappella, so they're not of famous songs. And then the other one, which I know, which is quite good as well, is called Splice. You can come here and you can get different samples that you can play in your DJ gigs. So it's things like this. Everybody keep dancing. You know, random acapellas like. They're, they're more like sound bites. And the other thing this site's quite good for as well is you can get chants that work quite well. So let me just do a search. You know, hey! which you could kind of put in over a DJ set. Um, it begins to go a bit more into music production then, but I'm just thinking if you're planning on doing a bit of a ma mashup, you could get random sound effects, cue them in on the track that's not playing and play them in over the song that's playing. So that's basically it guys. Um, acapellas for you is the best place to start. A lot of people use it. A lot of famous people use this site, you know, a lot of famous people actually endorse it as well. Um, like DJs who use acapellas come here. Um, I have to finish by saying, it is a pain in the ass finding acapellas. It's not an easy job. The artists don't just re release the acapellas of every song they do. So what you're finding most of the time is people who have kind of sourced it themselves and put it online. I don't even know if it's legal or not. So it's not an easy job and a lot of it is just faffing around and just trying to find one that's good enough. However, that is what I do. If I want to find an acapella, that's where I go. And you know, the other thing that's great about acapellas for you is sometimes you can just browse and you'll find acapella. It might not even be the one you were looking for, but you'll find one. And the cool thing about this website as well is it tells you the key of the song. So if you're just doing a random browse here and you find one you like, it tells you the key of the song. Now remember that other video I did, which is all about mixing in key. I'm going to be covering this more in my next video, but one of the most important important things when you're doing mashups is to make sure the keys of the song are correct. So if you're playing a song that's sung in one key over a song that's the wrong key, it will sound terrible. The great thing about this is it tells you the keys of the song. So when it actually comes to putting it over a track, you will also have the key in Serato or whatever DJ program you're using. So you'll know which acapellas work with different songs. So it's actually quite good because even though it, they might not have every acapella you want. It'll give you some really cool ideas. And once you start collecting acapellas you love, when you go to Serato then, you'll start seeing random songs and you'll be like, whoa, those two songs will work really well together. So don't be too disheartened if you can't find the acapella you want, but these are the best places to go if you're gonna begin your search. Guys, I hope the video's helped. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you leave a comment if there's other places you go for acapellas to help everyone else out. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Finally, I do want to say if you are if you are new to DJing and you want to learn everything you need to know about doing DJing from knowing nothing at all up to knowing how to beat match perfectly and everything you need to know for your first DJ gig, I've got a website called beginnerdjlessons.com where you can download a full course that'll teach you everything you need to know. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Oof.